Hi, in this tutorial we are going to use TensorFlow and MobileNet in order to classify uh, images. MobileNet is a pre-trained convolutional uh, neural network that uh, has the ability to classify about uh, one thousandth of uh, objects based on uh, image uh, only. So first of all we are going to install several Python libraries I will uh, leave in my GitHub uh, a text file with all the pip install commands, so please follow the, the first uh, phase of this uh, tutorial. Okay, so after installing uh, all the Python libraries, uh, let's uh, look what are these uh, 1000 uh, objects. So if you uh, Google it, you can see that uh, there are many types of, uh, of uh, objects like uh, dogs, like uh, um, sea snake and uh, pencil and car, so, so many types of uh, objects. We are going to, ta to, to check and to try to classify two objects, a, a volcano and a sea snake. So I first of all download a, a, a random image. One is a sea snake and the other one is a volcano. And we are going to, to write some code in order to activate, to, to predict these uh, images using the, the mobile uh, network uh, library. So let's start. As I said earlier, I will leave uh, the code in my uh, GitHub uh, library. Okay, I, I'm just uh, uh, moving the images inside uh, the mobile net uh, folder and I'm creating a, a new Python file that we call it uh, use mobilenet.py uh, and the first phase would be uh, do some uh, imports of the necessary objects and uh, functions. Before uh, doing, doing any run, we have to select the relevant uh, Python uh, Conda environment. And in the, in the first phase, we create this uh, Conda environment and now I chose it. So just to double check and after uh, doing this uh, import stuff, we will do a simple uh, run Python file in order to see that we don't have any syntax error, we don't have any missing libraries and uh, then we continue to, to activate in the, the model. Thank you. 
So after, after import the relevant uh, functions and objects, we can see that uh, running the Python file uh, is uh, pretty well. So first we are going to, to create a, a model variable and this model variable will uh, be a pointer to, to the mobile net uh, function. We are going to use a pre-trained uh, weights based on the image net. And to see that uh, everything was uh, loaded, we are going to print the summary of uh, the model variable. Let's run it. Okay, so this is the architecture. You can see that the last layer is 1000 uh, classes. So these are basically the 1000 classes that we saw earlier in, the, in this list in the, in the browser. Okay, let's continue. We are going to load uh, this function, decode predictions. We are going to use it later. Uh, now we are going to define our dimensions. Uh, the mobile net uh, is based on the 224 on 224. That means that we are going to do resizing for any image that we are going to predict. Now we are going to define a new function and this function will do a, a convert to our image it will get an argument of the image file the the location of the file and then we are going to do some some manipulation on the image and prepare it for the prediction so first we are going to to open the the file a very very basic process and the next step, we are going to resize the file for our dimensions, for the mobile net dimensions. As I said earlier, it's 224 on 224. Then we are going to define a uh, um, a variable, uh, an x variable, that uh, we are going to follow this variable for the next steps. First we are going to convert our image to, to a number array and then we are going to add another uh, dimension uh, for this image because it's a batch of images and, and in this batch we are going to have only one image so basically it's, a, it's a, another a, a layer or, or it's, a, it's an uh, array that has only one image and uh, next we are going to run this uh, pre-process pre uh, function of the, of the mobile net uh, network and now we are ready to, to do the prediction. The, the pred variable would be the results of the prediction so let's first print this uh, pred uh, variable and see the outcome of our uh, model. So the argument of course will be the path for the first image. We are going to try this uh, water snake, this uh, sea snake as our uh, test uh, image. Now let's run our uh, function, classify image, and pass the image uh, path. And now we are ready to run it. So let's see the, the result of the prediction. You can see that there are many numbers. Basically these are thousand, exactly 1000 uh, numbers. Uh, for each of the classes, we have a, a prediction and basically the, the highest prediction would be 
the, the relevant uh, class. So uh, in order to, to extract this uh, number, this, uh, the, the correct class, we are going to use a, a, numpy, a numpy function called the argmax and we are going to get the highest uh, indication of uh, these 1000 uh, classes. So once again, let's run the function again, the, the whole Python file of course, and we are getting that the indication is 65. So let's go back to our website and see what is 65 a number and we can see that the 65 is cisnake so basically our model predicts very good but let's let's write this code a, a little different first of all we need the the cisnake text so the mobile net has a, a pre prepared a, a function let's use it we would like to extract not, not only the, the first results, let's get the best five results, and then we are going to extract uh, the highest one. So we're going to use uh, this function, decode the predictions. We're going to pass the, the pred, which is the, the result, uh, uh, result uh, uh, as an argument, and another argument says top five. And we are going to do a, a, a for loop inside the, the, the list, list result for this uh, function. Let's run it again. And you can see that there are five uh, results, Cisnake, Coral Reef, Water Snake, Scooter Driver, but, but the highest one is still the Cisnake. And we are going to, to use this function uh, and project the, the Cisnake text. So in order to do it, um, you can see that uh, each result is a tuple, tuple that based with the free, free uh, um, parameters or free results. The one is, is an, an ID, some kind of ID. The second one is the Cisnake, which is the text that we need. And the third one is the, the predicted, the, the, the result, uh, the probability of, of this is the, the, the right uh, answer. So we are going to extract the class, the class text from this uh, tuple and return it from the function. And then we are going to, to project it. So once again, let's run the, the Python code. And now you can see that we have a Cisnake as the result of this prediction. So the last phase, let's uh, display the text uh, within the, the image. We are going to use the OpenCV library. So we are going to read uh, the, the image path and then we are going to show the, the image along with the, with the result text. We are going to use the put text uh, function. This is an OpenCV function. Uh, we have to pass it uh, the image, the text, the position of the text, the, the font, the, the thickness of the font, the color of the font. So this is basically a, a straightforward process in using the, the put text uh, function. I'm not going to elaborate, you can uh, Google it. And then we are going to show uh, the image with the text uh, inside the image. The wait key is in order to, to, to wait for a keystroke. And the last function is closing the, the window after uh, we, we press any key. So let's run it again. Okay, this is the Cisnake, the image, along with the text. Very nice. Let's try it on another image, the Vulcano image. Let's copy the, the image name. And we are going to replace the Cisnake with this, uh, this new image. And run the same prediction.
good. You can see that it was predicted uh, well. Thank you very much. You are most welcome to subscribe my channel for more videos.